NTR explained. I mean, I feel like we gotta watch that because I just don't understand what NTR is. I feel like I need to watch this. If you're this. new to the class, my name is Professor Lando. Today we're gonna Hello, learn Professor. about a specific thing. NTR. Blake, do you know what NTR- Don't you all go no, no, no in my chat when you constantly say NTR. And when I ask what it is and I still don't understand what it is, so now I will have Professor Lando explain it to me. R is. No idea, Professor. So, NTR, formal definition coming from a reputable source, Urban it's Dictionary, is a shorthand version of the word. Can you read that for me, Blake? Uh, ne neto rare. Neto rare. Neto rare. Neto rare. So, okay. this is a Japanese neto word. Rare. Let's break it down phonetically. So, ne Maybe I'll uh, referring to, the left to here. sleep, as in sleeping mm. with oh. someone in okay. an affair. Oh, aka cheating. It's not good, Professor. Oh no, it's not good. Well, hold on. That is not good. Torare, referring to a noun describing having something stolen or robbed. Okay. Based on that, what do you think NTR means? Nemuru what is this lesson going sleeping. to be about? Okay, so you said stealing. To sleep, right? You said to cheat. So cheating ne refers to sleep in the context of to sleep with someone. Yes. This needs a desk for those lessons. I, I have and a then desk. Torari. Oh. oh, you want me to have? Oh, you want me? To... Okay, I get uh -huh. it. Stolen or robbed. <laughs> so basically, mind. it's saying that you're sleeping with somebody. Non-traditional song. But that you got robbed at the same time. So you're sleeping. Think and about this. Robbed. This. So this is something is taking place here. Mm -hmm. So maybe your heart is getting stolen because you're getting cheated Not on. Not free NTR, <laughs> netorare. What is it? In a story, mainly referred to in the context of adult animated explicit media. So NTR is it? Is it a hentai tag? Is it a corn tag? Like where does it originate from? Is what I'm confused about. Hentai tag? AKA hentai. Or doujins, okay. the manga version, of course. Oh, fuck's sake, every time. is a what? It is a every genre time. where the story's protagonist every time. has his or her lover partake in an affair or is stolen by another person or group of people. A lover that cheats on their partner. So you're saying it's a, it's a genre of like a kind of anime where somebody kind of anime, cheats on their yeah. partner and people actually enjoy reading this. They like seeing people get cheated on. See, you're already honing in it's on like, the exact thing I said. It's like yes, a, Blake. It's like, it's like a little niche. I need to poll this. I need to poll this right now so you guys can stay anonymous. We're polling this. If anyone here is into NTR, NTR. Since I've had a lot of NTR mentions in recent streams. We're polling this. New poll. Are you into NTR? Yes? No. Stop poll. Here you go, chat. Is it? It's like people that like to see other people get cheated on? It's like that's a thing that turns yes. them on. It, it's, it's, okay, you, yes, you're on the right track. And that is what, Blake? We That's lost the NTI. That's sick as fuck, dude. Okay, <laughs> chat. I do not fuck with cheating. Absolutely not. Uh, that is absolutely where I draw the line to me. Even if it's, if it's quote unquote just fetishized in hentai art. But I do not fuck with cheating. I do not. <laughs> Good choice of words, kid. So yeah, well, uh, the word fuck is constantly in my vocabulary, so it is what it is. I hate it, but it's been hard to avoid the last couple of years. Fair. When people see any person from any pairing hanging out with someone new, chat always shouts NTR, even if companies are uh, changing which companies they work with. Uh, can we skip class? No! Not good! <laughs> no, no. What's happening here? What's the word? What is the word? Uh... It's a thing. 
People say it all the time. Kind of a yeah, bad a word, but it, it happens. I see. Awesome. What is this person? Uh, you call this person a... A degenerate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Think about what you just said. What's happening here? What's the scenario, Blake? So if someone's getting cheated on. It's a genre. They like it because it's a weird niche. So they're trying to enjoy, get pleasure out of this for some weird and reason. And this person, you'd call this person up. Uh, <laughs> we'll get there, Blake. We'll get I'm there. I'm not there. I'm not there. So... There's a focus on dark, depressing, sad, often oh, rage-inducing oh. oh. resolutions oh. Oh. to the plot, oh. the contents of NTR. Um, again, yes, I see. see some sort of affair happen, uh. and it, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Chat, you have no idea. Automod is going wild right now because all of you are spamming cock. <laughs> dark, depressing. You said this is some what? <laughs> Some sick shit. Some sick shit. Depressing. I, yeah, I don't like this. I don't. I, the fact that people are even involved and like like this, I I'm, I can't. I don't and know. And that's why we're learning about this today, class, because this is actually quite popular, Blake. <laughs> Would you believe this? <laughs> it actually. Yeah. Yes, they're here. Look, look what in the, the chat. They're all here right now. Look. <laughs> is Fifty Shades an NTR? It's not. No. It's not. There's no cheating happening in Fifty Shades. As of why I know this. <laughs> so, Moving on. Yes, you know, the thing is, it's, it's dark, depressing. So there's sort of a contradictory thing happening here. If it's sad, if it makes you angry, if it's dark, depressing, why do people like NTR? Why would it be popular? That's what we're going to talk about here. And that's the key thing here is the contradictory phenomenon. Much like with, in our previous lecture, girl failures. NTR's description like girl failure, would so seemingly be I'm something you would consider not popular. I'm a pro girl Detestable, failure. As Blake put it, some sick shit. I'm being a girl and I'm being this, a human. It continues to be a mainstay in animated Japanese adult media. Do you have any ideas, Blake? Of why they like it? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's because it's like, uh, it's like, it's, it's, the people don't normally do it. So it's like, you know, it's not new to them, kind of right? thing. Uh, so it's so like it's, it's very it's, sharp, astute reasoning. It's yes, yes, different. You know, people <laughs> like to go against the curve, but me, I like to just stay with the curve, man. You know, and not get cheated on. And not get cheated on. Exactly. Dude, my heart couldn't take. Dude, I couldn't take. Chat. I. I. I need one of the, like. Sweet I need boy. the merch. I, I need those merch. Special message. Hello, okay. students. Thank you so much for watching. Hello. My name is Professor Lando. Hello, I am Professor the educator Lando. here at the esteemed Ligma University. Hello. I make YouTube videos on a myriad of topics on every discipline imaginable. You may know me for my groundbreaking research on MILFs. What makes them so yeah. MILFy? Or perhaps for answering the question. We watch this. Pokemon. Is it okay to f them? Or most notably for my work on Femboys. I wanted to take a moment to announce the America. official launch of my Patreon page, which if you don't know, Patreon is a third-party crowdfunding website where viewers, fans, or students can support and directly fund the content being made by their favorite creators. Uh. The aim of this Patreon is to give students a way to directly fund and support the content, videos, and projects that I'm creating, as well as to give me more freedom in the things that I say and what I do, as well as the peace of mind to explore those things the way I'd like to. As a content creator whose main platform is YouTube, I often find myself navigating the landscape that is YouTube's algorithm. One example that I can give you that this Patreon page aims to alleviate. Look at the cheating thing, just leave if you feel the need to cheat lol. I agree with that. I 100% I agree with that. As I said, I don't fuck with cheating or anything like that. Like, not at all. I don't get it either. Uh, so... Is that all if anyone in chat wants to, like, tell us why they are into it, go on. Hello Raiders! We are in the middle of a lecture from Professor Lando on a topic called NTR. <laughs> if anyone's here into NTR and wants to explain why they are into it, please feel free to. It's a bonus that attracts people. That's what I understand too, but I... Even though I still don't get it. Even though I still don't get it. Hello, Rainus. Thank you so much for the rate. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope you had a fun stream. I'm and enjoy the lessons. I find myself with ideas that I think would be Thanks entertaining the or insightful. Or I might be just simply interested in, but oftentimes these ideas take a backseat to content is the that best is quite frankly more there? clickable, more potential the to fuck? be viral, uh, basically more potential to survive in the YouTube advertiser landscape. I am offering additional content and rewards that are exclusive to this Patreon page, depending on the tier that you choose to support at. These rewards include a myriad of things, such as behind the scenes looks into what I'm doing, such as vlogs and updates. Uh, Some of the art is really make, fucking well good. I see. As well shots of what I'm yeah, doing at the time. Videos that are otherwise are unavailable today? to the public, such as old live streams of mine, or perhaps videos that, for some reason or another... Why? Why is that Grandma Lando? It's also sneakers by Richard Ryan. <laughs> Yo! I'm good too, I'm good too, thank you. Otherwise unavailable to the public, such as old live streams of... What? Why is that Grandma Lando? Does anyone have the lore on this? Why is there Grandma Lando? Let Lando explain Futanari. We watched that. It's on YouTube. We watched that. Mine are perhaps <laughs> videos that, for some reason or another, are unavailable on YouTube. And additionally, a shout out for students on every video that they help produce. Thank you again. Thank you so much Why for watching. Why not Grandma and Lando? For out That's the Patreon true. Page. Uh, true, for your consideration. True, true. Thanks for uh, watching my videos here at it's Living the University. Um, your support <laughs> means the world to me. Uh, I hope to be deserving of your amazing support by doing my best, and I uh, hope to earn it through my creative expressions and endeavors online. Thank you so much. The mainstay characters, actors, Nico describing his cuck experience literally sounded like NTR plotline. I actually have not uh, listened to him explaining it. Like, I knew it happened, and I knew that he did some explanation to it, apparently, but I have actually have not listened to his actual words of him explaining it. <laughs> like, oh, oh god, bro. It seemed... Uh, my theory is that lonely people love NTR as some kind of revenge against happy coupled sex. That would be sad. In this genre, Pretty that petty, is yeah. NTR. Number one would be the protagonist. Who would be the protagonist in an NTR? Protagonist means they're the good guy, correct? No. I have to go back to English school. It's been yes. a while. Yeah. So, pro it's so like protagonist would probably be the, the husband or the wife that gets cheated on. Doesn't mean on, it's right? the, the good guy. guy. You know, yes, the protagonist is you, the one. You just got an oil bomb from your pen? Jesus! I had that before. I had that happen to me before. It was really bad. I... Oh, God. Oh, God. I still have a tiny scar from that man. You Don't fuck with that man. All burns are the worst. Who is cheated on? This one's pretty straightforward. The next character we have is the lover. And who would this be? The person doing the cheating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and uh -huh, there's, uh -huh. in this scenario, there's a very clear, obvious third party. The antagonist, which of course you uh, could stand to reason, would be who, Blake, in the scenario? The antagonist. Uh, so there's the person that's getting cheated on, right? That's the protagonist. And then there's the two people. So there's the lover and then the, the lover that gets with the person that's trying I to- I love his role uh, so ruin much. Everything, which is the antagonist. <laughs> I love this guy's role so much as being the little dumb guy. The dumb guy student. Should I tell an uncomfortable story? Once a girl tried to cheat on her boyfriend with me. I didn't have the nerve and did also didn't feel comfortable with it. I also kind of regretted it somehow. Wait, what? Oh! What the fuck? That is... Bruh, fuck that. It's just a joke boss. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, the person who the lover cheats on with. Yeah. Very curious that you have such a good understanding of this scenario, Blake. No. <laughs> First of good all, job, this Blake. Scenario, good job. We're proud of you, buddy. There is a word for this. Do you know this word I'm thinking of? Um, no. This guy's a cuck. <laughs> right? That's what this is. There it is. This guy's getting cucked. 
Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that before. Right. <laughs> so, in but that term is a very normy cultural yeah. term. Yeah. We're gonna borrow words here, cool. much like the word um, charisma. Mm. Right? Chris? Root word, charismiato. What? <laughs> Meaning of great vigor and. <laughs> but we're talking about anime, Japanese media, hentai, doujins. Oh, yeah. uh, but. To borrow from their culture, okay. this person, the person who the bull? lover is having an affair with, is often called the bull. Which I want to make huh? a clear stance here and say, very curious that time and time again, students, we find ourselves so kids are the protagonist right now? referring uh to things in a primal animalistic hey, sense whenever we get the chance. Despite how often we denounce furry culture, seems like maybe we're not too far from it. Dude, I got a, I got a question. For yes, me. Blake. So the protagonist, Yo. is he okay with all of this happening? Does he just go with the flow or does he fight back? That's my biggest thing. Yeah. No. Blake is asking Generally the real speaking, questions. The protagonist is not going to like it. Mm -hmm. okay, but good. that's where the enjoyment comes from. What? Really? It's that they... It's that this is an awful situation. They're watching their lover in a romance with another, or perhaps more than one other. Mm, yeah. And it's That's gut wrenching. bad. Yeah. And you what should hate fuck? it. You kind of like it. No. Okay. I'm I'm kind of starting to see that. Well, okay. We'll, we'll 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 hold off. Uh, I think. You know, maybe it's a little hard to grasp here for the students and, and for Blake. Um, I myself am a visual learner. I'm an artist, so let's let's draw a diagram here. Yeah. If you are in this room, uh huh. This is think of this as a okay. generic hotel room layout, mm -hmm. top down view. Yeah. Where would you most like to be? The protagonist usually ends up crying and jacking off to her pictures. What the fuck? Why are people into that? What the? Uh, in this room. Legit, why? Right there why? in the middle of the bed. Right there. Exactly. So in the NTR genre, and this is also borrowing from normie culture and, and a little sick. bit. Because they're sick, I guess so. Where do you think you would not want to be in this scenario? Just don't uh, need to understand no like fair. Just fair, sitting fair. there in general? I mean, the chair corner is tiny, a lot of claustrophobic space. Yes, Blake. Yeah. You don't want to be in there. No. Here's the thing. Because guys want to be the bull. So they would like live the fantasy of taking the girl away from the protagonist in this scenario. That is disgusting. It's a sneaker chair. In uh, the but that's normal disgusting. Culture, what the fuck? Here. This is where the protagonist is sitting. This is the cuck chair, <laughs> as it's most commonly referred to. Have you ever heard that? Never, not, not my life. This chair right here. This chair is a specific thing and it always shows up. Sometimes it's a hotel chair. Sometimes it's just an uh, office chair off to the side, but there's always Even a this chair chat off to the side this where the chair. protagonist will sit. So the first school of thinking I would describe as the school of loss. Wait, was Sneeko actually watching it happening? Like I know that he let like his girlfriend get it from someone else, but he was watching. Girl, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. Dude, that just reawakened some sort of hidden memory from long ago where my ex admitted that he was low-key into that too yeah i'm happy he's an ex holy shit like where he admitted like he is sad like he didn't actually want it to happen but the idea of it like what the fuck that's so disgusting bruh bruh just bruh School of weakness, the school of cuckoldry. 
I would describe why would people like NTR? Well, it's the most basic form of reasoning. It's, it's a fetish. They like it. They like the idea of having their lover be with another or groups of others. It's just the most baseline, like they're, they're just into it in the most sickest form of it. In stark contrast to the first school of thought, we have uh, one of power. Uh -huh. One of, if you can think of yourself as the protagonist here, that's kind of not enjoyable. But might I posit to you students, what if you were in the place of the antagonist? Think about it that way. In this fantasy realm, they like to imagine themselves like, yes, I have stolen your lover. Me and my boys. I'm about to make this look like a pack of raccoons got into this Auntie Anne's pretzel overnight. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. This is, this is what, what I imagine other people um, would place uh -huh. themselves in as a sort of third realm of reasoning for why people like NTR. The receiver. So that's the guy that plays catch? You throw him the ball and they catch it. The lover. Oh. It's interesting that you automatically assumed you, in your, your go-to hypothetical what? scenario is a male. Yeah, yeah, sports, you know, receiver. Interesting. Wife, yeah. But yes, the receiver like to imagine themselves or at least have a secondhand sort of second degree form of enjoyment by imagining that they would like to be the person getting fucked. Regardless of which role you assume oh, in this Lord. hypothetical scenario, oh, it comes Lord. from a place of angst. I think that is the key angst. thing here. It's so funny to me how this is just a German word, which is angst. Like, this is actually just a German word. It's angst, which obviously means fear. But, yeah. With NTR and its appeal to hypothetical peoples. Uh, it's the shock value, the enjoyment of NTR as a genre. It, it's, it's the depressing nature of the scenario. That how, is quite how depressing. It is that attracts the reader, not necessarily the specific act itself in its particularities of this scenario, of this affair. These people use this fiction as a means of escape in the same way that maybe we enjoy, I know I do, we enjoy horror or violent, gory uh -huh. content as, as a, as a sure. means of like, a shocking means of escape. It's not that the readers really want to get cucked, mostly, or mostly. want this scenario to happen even mostly in reality. But it's in this fictional realm, it's simply a stimulating scenario to witness. It's the fact that it's not right that makes it attractive. So what, what do you think about this play? Well, dude, it blows my mind that anyone would ever want to be a protagonist. I think that is the worst rule of all time. I don't think, I, 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 like to me, that would diminish my soul if I was the yeah, protagonist like, what the watching fuck? somebody else get with my lover. But then, then you could be the guy that has the power. So you could be the guy that takes. So that's I, also messed. Or the, the girl. Or the girl. Or the girl. Which, that, honestly, the way you were saying that, that probably sounds like the best role. No. I did not say that. The you way freak. you, the way you sounded like it. <laughs> I did not say but that. But the power, the power guy is the guy that gets the grab and take. And who doesn't like the grab and take, right? But at the end of the day, professor. That's savage. This is, this is, this you're, is. You're an animal. You ever heard of the, the word <laughs> home wrecker? Uh, yeah. A person who comes in and home destroys. Uh, oh. Just bad. Your home Fuck home wreckers. This is literally the same exact thing of someone being home wrecker, but the protagonist, I guess. What an SLA like. So I, uh, to me, a home wrecker is what's That's a very, that's another term from uh, uh, normie culture. Right? You're, you're getting in touch with your roots. Yeah. The ugly bastard. Ugly bastard. This is a common character that, although not exclusive to the NTR genre, is a very popular character archetype. Bla oh. I think there's two aspects to this. One, okay. Fujo's probably hate the guy there with all pathetic men in general and want to see bad stuff happen to them. But also, people who aren't happy like seeing bad stuff happen to people in general, so that's kind of the quality. You're not self-inserting, you're just enjoying the horror of the situation. Aww. I see. Thanks for the biddies. So weird. So freaking weird. Like, what do you surmise the ugly bastard is? 
just a big, thick, ugly, disgusting person doesn't shower. You know, that's the thing I think of. Wow, you, 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 you just, Aslan you gold? really got that. You really, you really knew what an ugly bastard was. So this is, is a common archetype of an ugly bastard, often very large, uh, overweight, very old, older, um, often visualized as balding, unkept, like you said, dirty, unkept. And not only physically, but what you see outwardly is an indicator of what's inside. They're gross, they're gluttonous, they're greedy, and most importantly, horny. Do you find that attractive? Uh, Do you think people would find this attractive? That is the ugliest bastard I've ever seen. Hence the name, Ugly Bastard. Yeah. Much like girl failures, and yes, I'm taking the step to compare girl failures to ugly bastards. How dare why you? is a character that's purposefully unattractive a popular thing? Schadenfreude. Why do you think? Yeah, that? I guess so. Schadenfreude. Uh, it just makes the story like even worse because if like if you see somebody like getting somebody that's like uglier than you, it just it makes it even worse, right? So the fact that it just yeah. Wow, would... Blake has a very good grasp on the NTR genre. I gotta say, well, God damn, yes, Blake. very similar to the angsty appeal of NTR. The uh, draw of the ugly bastard is in fact the taboo. Um, to be defiled by someone that is beneath you is sort of a rush. Uh, so I'm told, and it, it's, so it's so wrong, stream. Yeah, somehow. but that's what makes it so right. Blake, what does that say? Uh, mind break. Mind break. Do you know what mind break is? It's where you break your mind. It's where yeah. you get mind blown. Well, Sub genre, a tag. Do you remember what, what a tag is when we talk about dojins? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's like the category. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. so proud of you, Blake. How far you've come. This is a tag. Uh, Wait, that it's is a tag? Found, it's found a consistent place in Japanese adult media and is often quoted, referred to, joked on uh, by uh, consumers, huh? by viewers, by people online. Oh, and so, so. what is it exactly? Well, it's a genre in explicit adult works where the, uh, the person receiving the action has their mind broken, obviously so. Through the act of intercourse. The fuck? Imagine that it is so pleasurable that their mind. Female receiving so good D, she gets addicted. Oh. 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 I. I. Oh, fuck. I. There was one. Uh, Dojin that I've read. The very popular one. The one with the black hair, glasses, uh, braids at the start and in the end. Uh, yeah, is it that one? Lines literally. Bro, that one break. actually. They go insane. That broke my mind. Often that one was so depressing. In their desire to that perform coitus with dude, another. They dude, that one. That that one is so depressing. <laughs> Why do you know the number on the top of your head? Bro, that one is so depressing. They get... Uh, have you ever heard the phrase Hunt like... Hunt Summer is playing? <laughs> Wait, Hunt Summer? <laughs> Yo! I uh, no, I have not. Have you ever... Never mind. The lead character reaches a level of ecstasy so overwhelming that their minds are unable to process and hold on to reason. So again, controversially so, um, this genre as well as NTR, it's rooted in this like foundational um, loss oh, from of a sense. friend, of course, of it's course. Just, oh, you shouldn't be into it. Oh my gosh, I'm, oh, I'm getting fucking dummy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. One key indication of the mind break is uh, a topic we've gone over before, but uh, I don't think we talked at length about it. It's the uh, Blake. You're familiar with this. Of, of course. course he is. Blake, what is this? That's an ahegao. Ahegao, yeah. What? Okay. 
is okay. Okay. The I, oh, Blake, calm okay. down. I got it. Okay. Okay. What is an okay. eye hijab? Can you explain it to these uh, new students? The do one. So Go on, Blake. Eye hijab is like uh, Are you gonna uh, make it's one an unpleasurable face you make during intercourse, so that's what they like to call the, the O face. Yes, it's a sort of, uh, it's an emo. You guys know. Oh my god. You know, like, <laughs> playing Fortnite, like, emotes. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty much, Blake, you got an emote? Uh, dude, I got the, the floss. Dude, that's, <laughs> oh my fucking you know, god. The, the old school OG. No. Yes, it's like an emote. Uh, you know, you're playing a game. Oh and my you, god. You, you, know, you kill someone, you, you emote on them. Mm. That's sort of like the hentai version of flossing is the ahegao. It's a key indication of mind break. <laughs> They're kind of uh, associated here. Um, and again, we've gone over this in a previous lecture, but I think it's relevant here. So bringing it up, it's a facial expression used in oh, yeah. Japanese explicit adult media to convey, it conveys intense physical pleasure. Note that it's only the receiver of the intercourse that th performs ahegao. You wouldn't be giving it, you, you wouldn't be on top and you wouldn't go, uh, you know, that, that's not, it's, it's you're receiving it. And that, that's only markedly a, a submissive role that you would take. It's composed of tongue out, eyes rolling into, you're, it, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so, yeah. You're, your mind's breaking, it's so pleasurable that your eyes yeah. roll into the back of your head, tongues out. And uh, it can be coupled optional here. It's like when you're picking out a, it's like when you're building, when you go to build a bear, do you wanna put a little bow tie on it? <laughs> do, you, do you get the bigger one or the small? It's sort of like that, it's an optional uh, part of the Why ahegao. Why get to you? Double piece. Why do we? Uh, in practice, an ahegao, uh, in this hypothetical situation. I'm show us, learner, exactly. So, show um, us, Lando. Tongue out, eyes rolling into the back of the head. Let's, let's, let's roll play here a little bit, students. Let's yes, to, yes, Professor Lando. On Come on. Um, imagine, I, I'm going to opt for the double peace sign. I think it's, 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 it's sort of a matter double of taste. Some people Can like you show it. us, kids? Some some no, I cannot. My bottle cannot do it. Winston Churchill, when he goes like this to the, you know, and it's like, ah, but I like it. So this is, this will be my head gal. Go on, go on. <gasps> he did it. Chat, he did it. Oh my. I'm not timing this correctly. I'm Churchill, so bad. And he goes like this to the, you know, and it's like, ah, but Could I that? Like so Give this me a is, moment, this will be my hegao. Wow. <laughs> Did I time that? <laughs> wow. Pretty good. What? Let's see yours. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Imagine. Blake. Yeah, okay. Imagine. Go so on, your, Blake. Your mind's getting broken. Okay, so you say it's more of like an O face, right? Go uh, on, Blake. Sign. Optional. Optional, but I like the peace sign. I think the peace sign. See, dope. I like the peace sign too. Yeah. Yeah. I think the peace sign's really good. Let's see if I can get maybe a, a, a an O going. You know, like a stop. Huh? I dude, that felt good. <laughs> With these subjects, there is a clear separate. <laughs> he just said that felt good. <laughs> I dude, that felt good. <laughs> With these subjects, there is a clear separation of fiction and uh, reality, which has been an ongoing discussion, um, much similar to the one that often comes up about violence in video games. Uh, Wait, what? But where do we draw the line? I play Gears of War and I have a chainsaw. I'm cutting it. Is that really indicative of what I seek in real life, what I intend to do in real life? Most people would say no. No. And the question is, uh, again, where do we draw the line? Like if I want to imagine myself getting stolen by a group of ugly bastards right in, and, you know, in front of my childhood lover to the point where, you know, my, my, mind, my mind snaps because uh, you know, my basic sensibilities are, are being rendered useless because I'm just going dummy. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that's where we draw the line. I don't know. I'm just going to say that in explaining this scenario, NTR, this phenomenon, in explaining why, I think we can conclude that it's, it's what's so wrong that yeah. makes it feel right. Absolutely I... right. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what to say. I disagree. <laughs> but we have been lectured. We, we have been lectured. We have been lectured. Ran Forbidden Furries. Uh, I will add this Students, one to, to the watch later list. <laughs> this one we will watch at one other point. So I have to watch later. <laughs>
my viewers confess their worst sins to me. I need to do this one at one point. I've questioned at most of them about our sanity. <laughs> yeah, our sanity is long gone. Our sanity is long gone, chat. Long gone. <laughs>